Well, good morning and thanks for joining us for Your Word for the Day today. My name is Robert. Thanks for tuning in. And I hope that you're looking forward to Christmas. And as a reminder, we'd love to have you at one of our Christmas Eve services tomorrow. If you're in Lake Havasu, we invite you to join us at McCulloch for our traditional style service at 2 or at our Sweetwater campus for modern worship style at 3, 4.30 or 6 p.m. If you're in Parker, we have one service at 4 p.m. Uh, we'll also be live streaming our services like normal as well, and we invite you to join us that way. But today, as we jump into your word for the day, we have just a few days left in the book of Proverbs. And today's verse is Proverbs 29, verse 18. that says, where there's no prophetic vision, the people cast off restraint, but blessed is he who keeps the law. Now, this is a very popular proverb and for good reason, because it tells us a lot about human behavior. And it's used a lot to talk about human leadership and how it's important for people. And this is all true. You know, I, th I think back to my time here at Calvary and elsewhere working in student ministry. And if you take a large group of teenagers somewhere and you, whether it's a camp or a trip and you don't give them instruction or guidance, they do indeed cast off restraint. Uh, and so I always had a meeting with our whole group the first day of camp to go over expectations and rules and guidelines, because without this, they would throw off restraint and it would not be a good thing. But this proverb isn't just talking about how people respond to human leadership or lack thereof. It's talking about how we respond to leadership of God in our life. In the time where this is written, one of the major ways that people heard from God was through the prophets delivering messages to them from God. And these were mostly messages of correction and rebuke to get them back on track. Because our, again, our human nature is to cast off restraint and go away from God's plan and design. But that next part of that verse is important because it says, blessed is he who keeps the law. The truth is that when we follow God's plan and direction in our life, we are blessed. And it's easy to label and condemn God's laws and instructions as bad things, but this reminder is here for us to see that God wants to bless us, not keep us from enjoying things and enjoying life, but actually the opposite. So today, let me ask you, is God's word guiding your life? Are you regularly hearing and receiving the corrective word of God in your life? so that you're blessed and you don't throw off restraint. If you're watching this, that's a good first step, but I would encourage you to do more. Do a reading plan in the Bible. Uh, listen to some long form sermons or do a Bible study on Right Now Media, because the more we get in God's word and the more we allow it to come into our life and we apply it to our life, the more blessed we will be. So I hope today that you allow God's word to guide you, to correct you, to encourage you, and to allow it to bless you. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you tomorrow, and Merry Christmas.